Hi Aries, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, Abyss of you cross-watching, welcome to your tarot messages. We're going to take a look and see what the cards predict for you for the week ahead. It is going to be a general reading, guys. Please keep that in mind. If you're after a personal one, feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address will be listed below the video. Okay, we've got the Ace of Swords, bottom of the deck. Okay, Two of Pentacles in reverse. Something's getting to you here. Um, it could be a warning that you're over committing to someone or something. You're doing too much. You're putting in way too much effort or energy into the one person, into the relationship. Over committing, over extending. Um, maybe you're doing a lot at work. You're taking on too much. You're not you're not being financially or adequately compensated But this is you struggling to um, Juggle a workload or you're struggling um, due to this over commitment of energies, okay? You might not see it yet. I feel like you do. I feel like you do. Maybe you're a little bit Proud you don't want to admit to it. You don't want to admit that you're struggling But others I feel like are noticing you, you might be acting a little bit not your usual self, a little bit more cranky or a little, you know, more stressed. It's important that you do, um, you know, you take the time for yourself. And it's an energy that maybe is asking you to re reassess your priorities. Um, you might be giving one area of your life too much focus and too much of your energy. So much so that the other areas of your life are not getting your time or your energy okay um so you have to decide where it is that you want to spend your energy and your time but choose to focus on choose to focus on the thing that you need to focus on um, so that you can give it your undivided attention okay um it just feels like there's a lot of distractions in your energy you're not really focused you're doing too much and as a result you're not giving everything you're, you know, you're not giving all of these tasks your undivided attention. Some of these tasks are falling to the wayside. Um, or whether it's a relationship, um, you know, you might be over committing um, and over extending yourself in a, re in a relationship and over giving yourself. Ask yourself, why are you doing it? Why are you doing that? Why are you always the one to put in the time that work? Why are you always initiating conversation? Or why are you always putting up your financial resources? Why is it that you're the one that's doing it? Is it because you're trying to overcompensate for your partner's lack of efforts? Okay, there's a reason why you're doing what it is you're, that you're doing. Is it because you want to stay distract? Dis to you want to distract yourself too much because you can't really focus on, you know, you want to avoid focusing on certain things. Um, whatever it is, I do think try and get down to the bottom of it because I only see you burning out though. I see you burning out and I see you becoming really restless, agitated, frustrated. Um, also try and see how it is that you manage your time. We all get the same time. Um, we all get the same amount of hours in a day and see where is it that you're directing your time and energy to. Um, okay, you've got two, you've got two, three, and uh, four. So three consecutive numbers from the same element, and I think that's truly something special. For some of you, I feel like you're too scared to move forward with something. Um, you're being too careful maybe to move forward with something because you don't want to lose um, I don't know if you don't want to lose your position it could be at work or you don't want to lose where you're at in the relationship like for example you don't want to lose the person that you're currently in a relationship with this is why you are overextending and overgiving and over committing of yourself okay because you don't want to lose them you don't want to lose that connection um, it seems to me that there's something here that you're wanting to have a lot of control over, okay? Um, and as a result, I feel like you're really putting in 
your way you know you're just over committing and i think you're really struggling as well because i think you're struggling to find a balance and essentially it's that you know that imbalance that essentially is going to i feel like knock you over so it's so important that you find out because there's, there's a struggle for stability there's a struggle for balance there's a struggle for security from what i'm seeing and it's like you're doing too much because you don't want to lose your position at work you know you're putting in because you want to be recognized you're putting in all this time and effort in your works um workspace because you want to be recognized for your hard work right um or you don't want to lose the position that you got going for you um or you you know as i've mentioned you, you're putting way too much time in a relationship because you don't want to lose the person that you're with even though they're not matching or reciprocating your efforts so i think it's very it shows up you know especially these three cards that have shown up for you i think they're showing up for you because there's something he it's something he is working for you but that's only because you're the one that's putting in all this time and effort but it's very likely that whatever this is that's currently working for you now is going to end up working against you later. So yeah, okay, your relationship right now is staying afloat because you're doing all this time and effort. You know, you, you're giving this person this person all this attention and energy and all this effort. But what happens once you start burning out and stop over committing and over giving and this person doesn't step up and play their part do you know what I mean something that you're doing right now whilst it's working for the time being you are struggling to maintain that sense of balance and st sense of like sufficiency it is going to end up working against you later so do be careful ten of cups um, I you know when this has shown up I see that there's going to be a very special occasion you're going to like a family gathering or a social gathering of some sort you potentially go, could also be reunited here with a loved one okay someone um, a romantic interest someone who has maybe fallen off your radar um, someone who's maybe um, coming back um, it represents a very harmonious and happy relationship or a connection so if you're in a marriage if you're in a relationship I do see things going um, very well for you it represents that harmony um, or if you're hoping to move you know move your relationship your connection into the next level this is a card um, that is confirming this for you if you've been separated from a romantic interest here if you've been long distance if you're at it with them it this ten of uh, cups alongside the magician could very well indicate a reunion um, or if you are single then the energies do seem to the cards indicate that you'll be starting a new long-term relationship very soon one that is going to give you happy, happiness harmony stability and security okay especially if you're looking for that type of a relationship okay now in the seven of swords energy you do have you do have someone around you who I feel like is trying to, is being very sneaky with you and I think you're going to catch this person out, out in the act and I think it's it's going to disappoint you because I think you expected better from this person. It could be a romantic interest. Um, it could be a family member, a friend, a co-worker, um, someone close to you, someone who means a great deal to you. Um, you'll find out that this person maybe has been lying or has been, you know, being sneaky about something, not being very forthright or um, forthcoming about something. And I see you being very disappointed because it's like, yeah you, you thought you knew this person or you thought they knew better okay and you you did you had better you had better intentions um you expected better of them so it's watch watch for anyone watch for anyone being sneaky i guess watch for anyone trying to get away with something that they shouldn't watch for anyone trying to pull the wool over your eye um for some of you it is something that you probably won't see coming just because you did have a lot of trust in this individual so it'll be a very um you know it'll be uh, very disappointing for you um for others especially if you're doing any like uh deals um any business deals or signing any contracts watch read the fine print watch where and what you sign along the dotted line um, it just feels like there may be, especially if you're in a deal with some sort, it feels like the person that you're doing in a deal with is, it's like they're drawing up a contract that, yeah, it's going to benefit you, but it's going to benefit them more so in the long run. So watch for anyone trying to be sneaky, because um, I feel like someone's trying to pull a fast one on you here. Um, and it, it could be someone that, for a lot of you, it is someone that you know, and it's someone very close to you, and this is why it's going to be so disappointing. 
Um, for others of you, I feel like you are already suspicious of their behavior. This is why the Ace of Swords is here, because you're going to call them out. You're going to call them out on, you know, their behavior and their actions. Um, and for others of you, it could be like, it could be a complete stranger. You potentially could walk into a store and, you know, you're wanting to make some sort of purchase. And this is someone who is quite sneaky. So, um... You know, someone who, I don't know, might be, might be trying to put something over you. Um, it could be you, though, as well, Seven of Swords energy. Just, you know, um, it could be you. Are you the one that's trying to do something that, you know, has your moral compass? Are you trying to do something that you shouldn't be doing? Are you trying to get away with something that you shouldn't be? Because at the end of the day, okay, yeah, you might get away with it. And you might, you know, um, walk away with whatever it is that you're hoping to get away with. But your guilty conscience, that's going to catch up to you sooner or later. So it could be you. It doesn't necessarily mean it's an energy around you. And maybe something you do or something you say, maybe you'll act out of character. And at that, you know, at the heat of the moment, you know, it's just, it felt like it was the right thing to do. But after you do it, you know, maybe, you know, that sudden realization will come over you and you'll feel this sense of guilt or disappoint disappointment because it's not you. It's so out of your character to have said or acted that way. Um, Alright guys, and these are your messages. Thanks for watching and listening. Please show your support by liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. Bye.